Moving up the I-5 corridor, we're also looking out towards red flag warning conditions in our Inland Empire. Those are the mountain ranges, even into Riverside, down through Lake Elsinore and Temecula. And we have this, a high wind warning from Santa Ana down to Laguna Niguel. And if you're not under a high wind warning, you're under, uh, looks like a wind advisory or even a fire. We have the component of heat, though. We have a mild Santa Ana. That'll be the case even as we roll into Wednesday, Santa Ana, 72 degrees. And then we'll see those temperatures stay right into those mid-70s, dropping to 69 on Wednesday. It's the time of year. You know, we were saying it's week alone. So this is the first of it. Monday on your Monday. We're going to call it a moderate Santa Ana. And over into Malibu, you kind of can see the camera moving around a little bit. Uh, the winds that are really strong right now, right through that running springs area, looking down into Riverside County. So you're getting some really strong bursts of winds through this tonight. That includes areas of Ventura down through Malibu, heading out towards our San Fernando Valley, Santa Clarita Valley, all the way up into. And we have it in the Inland Empire. Our mountain range is there out towards Lake Elsinore, Temecula. And so we're looking Looking at the Cajon Pass to be really impacted with some of these strong gusty winds. Now we know when we're driving through these passes, you have to be very cautious on a day like today. Big high profile vehicles sway. They often tip over and the next round of Santa Ana is only stronger. We're looking at Wednesday and we'll focus on that next. But Wednesday looks like it's going to be an even worse situation in terms of rapid fire growth as a potential. We'll have more on that coming up in a little bit.